In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys 4 of the best character combinations that could help you to push your rank fast and win matches in the Battle Royale rank mode in Free Fire. These character combinations are made according to different playing styles. There's gonna be one for solo rank push players, one for rushers, one for long range players, and one for solo vs squad players. So first let's start with the solo rank push character combination. As you guys might know, health is a very important factor when it comes to surviving in Battle Royale rank matches. So the active character of this character combination is gonna be the K character. The K character has the ability to increase the EP and then convert the EP into HP. The K character can survive much longer outside the safe zone than most of the other characters so this character can be very useful when rank pushing. So guys now the first passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is going to be the Misha character. The Misha character is going to be very useful if you are planning on pushing your rank by driving vehicles until the last zone. That's because the default aim won't work that well on you if you are using the Misha character while driving vehicles. So it will be hard for your enemy to attack you when you are driving vehicles when using the Misha character. The Misha character also has the ability to increase the driving speed by 10% and the damage taken while driving is also decreased by 20%. The second passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is going to be the Maxim character. That's because the Maxim character can eat mushrooms and use medicates 25% faster. This can be very useful to quickly heal yourself in intense situations. The third passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is going to be the Kelly character. That's because she has the ability to increase the movement speed by 6%. So guys, now let's move on to the character combination for rushes. For the active character of this character combination, we are going to use the Skylar character. That's because when rushing an enemy, you can quickly use the Skylar character skill to easily break glue walls. The Skylar character also has the ability to increase your health when you place glue walls. The first passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is going to be the Jota character. That's because when you knock down an enemy when using the Jota character, you will recover 20% HP. This can be very useful when handling multiple enemies. Movement speed is also very important for rushes. So the second passive character that we are going to use is the Kelly character. For the third passive character, you guys can either use the Hayato character or the Moko character. The Hayato character will increase the armor penetration by 7% with every 10% decrease in maximum HP. And the Moko character will display a tag on the enemy for a few seconds when you attack them. This can be very useful to find the enemy's location if he hides somewhere after getting attacked. The tag will also be shared with your teammates, so this can be very useful when playing with your squad. So guys, now let's move on to the character combination for solo vs squad players. The active character that we are going to use in this character combination is the Wukong character. As you guys might know, the Wukong character has the ability to turn into a bush where the default aim doesn't work that well on him. Each time you knock down an enemy when using the Wukong character, the skill will automatically refresh. So this skill can be very useful in solo vs squad situations. The first passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is the Jota character. As I said earlier, when you knock down an enemy when using the Jota character, you will recover 20% HP. So this can be very useful in solo vs squad situations. Movement speed is also a very important factor when playing solo vs squad matches. So for the second passive character, we are going to use the Kelly character. For the third passive character, you guys can either use the Otho character or the Leon character. After you eliminate an enemy when using the Otho character, the position of other enemies within 75 meters of the elimination spot will be revealed. So the auto character skill can help you to easily track the position of nearby enemies. But if you guys are interested in increasing the health, you guys can use the Leon character. The Leon character has the ability to recover 30 HP after surviving a comeback. So guys, now let's move on to the character combination for long range players. The active character that we are going to use in this character combination is the Skylar character. As you guys might have noticed when we attack enemies in long range, most of the time they use glue walls to cover themselves. So you guys can use the Skylar character skill to break the enemy's glue wall. But remember that the Skylar character skill will only be able to break glue walls that are within 100 meters. The first passive character that we are going to use in this character combination is the Raphael character. That's because when using snipers and marksman rifles, the firing sound will be silenced and the enemy's knockdown will bleed 90% faster. The second passive character that we are going to use is the Maro character. That's because when using the Maro character, the damage will increase with distance up to 25%. This can be very helpful when attacking enemies who are in long range. The damage to marked enemies will also increase by 3.5% when using the Maro character. For the third passive character, you guys can either use the Laura character or the Kelly character. As you guys might know, most of the time we do in-scope drag headshots when an enemy is in long range. So if you use the Laura character and fire while scoped in, the accuracy will increase by 50%. Now if you guys keep losing many matches in the BR rank mode, you guys might be doing some mistakes. So check out this video if you guys want to know 10 mistakes that players do when playing battle royale rank matches and how to fix them.